today we're going to be looking at another set of photographs to see if you can identify the fossil. As always we've also got a few clips of me and Shay cracking open some ammonites that we found on this fossil hunt. Me and Shay came across several lovely looking nodules. We decided to open up a couple of them. Do let me know if you're enjoying looking at the photographs to try and work out what the fossil is. Something a bit different to normal. Let's get on and open up that first nodule. Now that we've opened up the first nodule, let's start having a look at the photographs and see if you can work out what the fossil is. Here's the first photograph. You might be able to tell that the fossil in the middle is a tooth. There's also this rather peculiar bone, which I'll explain a bit more about in just a moment. There's also some iron pyrite associated with this fossil. What can you make out in this one? Again, there's another shot there several individual fossils and a very worn tooth. I've got a couple of photos of my personal favourite part of this overall piece coming up now. All of these rounded bones still in place. That's the last of the photographs. Got a video of the fossil coming up next. You might have already worked out what this fossil is. What it is, is a scattered part of an ichthyosaur, which is most likely being predated. There's also this nodule sat on top of some of the bones. It's covered and small pieces of iron pyrite and a much bigger piece on the top of the nodule. It's very possible that there's some bones within this nodule. However, we decided to leave it as it is. It's quite nice having it intact with the pyrite on top. Just next to it, we've got pieces of broken jaw, some paddle digits, and quite a large tooth. There's lots of bits of shells crushed around and preserved next to the bones as well. You can see all different pieces of jaw pointing in various directions and what appears to be another partial tooth, potentially, right there. And that bone is a neural spine from one of the vertebrae, which again has been predated and bitten, making it look different to how it normally would. Lots of shells and things, as you can see, amongst the bones. The 
the best part of this fossil is still to come, as I showed you in some of those photos. There's even a few pretty much perfect flattened ammonites. And this is one's next to one of the only vertebrae of this piece. But this is by far the best part, in my opinion. All of the paddle digits still in place from a pretty good sized ichthyosaur paddle. You don't often find these intact. They're very rare. The paddle's also next to one of the coracoid bones. This is the coracoid bone, which I just mentioned. It's a very large bone, which hasn't been too badly predated, actually. It looks pretty much complete. So we're very pleased to have that fossil. It really tells a story, especially when the bones have been predated. Now let's see Shea opening up another ammonite. Looks like it's one to take over and prep with the tools. I hope you enjoyed that part of the video. Coming up next, we've got some videos of our pyritic nodules, which contain Elegantissarus ammonites. There's also some other fossils which you can acquire yourselves if you'd like to, to help support our channel and our Instagram page. My brother does this full time and my dad also prepares fossils full time now. So all support to help the channel is really appreciated. Here's a look at some of the pyritic fossils which my brother and my dad have recently prepared. Although not golden, these are some of the ammonite fossils which my brother has recently prepared. I think he's done an incredible job. Many of the ammonites are totally perfect. Those are the fully prepared ammonites, but equally there's also lots of nodules such as these to be able to crack open yourself at home. Cracking open the ammonites is exceptionally fun. And if it goes well, you get an ammonite to keep at the end of it. We try to only send out specimens which we think will open really well. Of course, we can't be 100% sure that they will, but the chance is quite high. If you'd like an ammonite, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.